here we are with uh, a real classic uh, puzzle game on the 6th floor, uh, Bomb Boozle, by uh, Tony Crowther. Uh, it's a bit of a departure for Tony, uh, he, he likes to write shoot 'em ups, but uh, this is uh, certainly not a shoot 'em up. Now, uh, you can. Actually, this is quite interesting, you can play this in 2D or 3D mode. Uh, let's let's get started. As you can hear, some speech. Right, what you do is you take control of this little chap here. Uh, your ob the, the object of the game is to um, oops, is to destroy all the bombs on the level. But the bombs come in uh, three sizes: small, medium, large. And it, depending on the bomb itself, it uh, has a certain blast radius. Uh, uh, well, the small bombs obviously uh, only destroy the tower they're on, but but they set off any bombs that are adjacent to them. So. Uh, to complete this level, I think I'll have to do as think about it. So, if I, if I destroy this bomb, it will set off the bomb next to it. Uh, that's quite easy because it, it was all small bombs, but once it gets to um, Larger bombs. So you can see this level is a bit more complex now. So if I destroy this one bomb, it will set off all the other ones here on this part of the level. Now, if I destroy this bomb, it should set off that bigger bomb that's next to it, which will, in turn, set off that third bomb. So it's a, it's a matter of learning how, what the blast radius of each size of bomb is. Uh. Now, obviously, you can only ever you can only ever set off small bombs. Uh. So uh, if you stand next to a bigger bomb like like, like so, it would obviously kill you. So I'm dead. Even though I did destroy all the bombs, uh, it's, it's viewed as being a failure. Now. I'm not doing a... I, I'm playing 3D mode here, but it's, it's a bit of a gimmick 3D mode. It's, the game is actually better playing 2D mode, but you, you get a clear idea of what's going on, so what I'll do is I'll... I'll just kill myself. You, you hear, there's some speech in the game, it's a, it's a little rough. Uh. Right. Right, so you get a, a password that gives you every four levels, I think, but um, but you can continue anyway. So if I just continue now in 2D mode, see this is the same level, but now it's a bit clear to see what's going on. Now what you can do in this level is, you can see those, uh, those little bomb you can pick up, uh, any bombs that are on rails you can pick them up and move them and then drop them. So it's really just a matter of uh, learning what, how each bomb affects the, the area around it, and then learning which order to set the bombs off in. Now I don't want to. I think I have to set this bomb off at the far end first. Now, there's some ice here, which means you can't move. Uh, you, you just slide right over them. So uh, you've got to be careful with them. Right, if I destroy... Now Tony Crowther, he also uh, programmed the, uh, the Amiga version of this, which is horrible. Uh, I, I have played it on Amiga, and the Amiga version, it got good reviews, but uh, having played it, it's nowhere near as uh, good as this version. Uh, it's almost a different game, uh, I mean, it just plays rubbish. But the 64 version's great, and I think. Oh, you've got to watch the, these tiles disappear when you step off them. Yeah, the 64 version, I think, uh, probably one of the best puzzles, uh, puzzle games on the 64, I think. Uh, I can't remember how to do this now. Uh, if you stay static on a square for too long, a little fan appears and uh, knocks you off it. Uh, now, I think there's. 
There's about 120 levels, something like that. Um, and you get a password, uh, like I said, uh, every few levels, so you can remember your progress get to a ready. certain extent. This is one of these ones where you have to put this bomb in the right place. Now this level has, you see these are teleporters. So you just got to work out first where they're going to put you. So that's the one I probably want to use. Just made it in the nick of time. At the top of the screen you can see the... No, it's funny, in 3D mode they, it just tells you what these things mean, but not in this mode. Now this is a bit of a puzzle, you've got to get these in the right order. Uh, fucking hell, I'm not doing too well here. Ah, uh, this one you've got to go all the way to the end of the level and go back, I think. And then set the bombs off. I think that's the end. Right. Right. Well, I don't think there's much more I can really show you. Uh, but there's a couple of more things that are introduced. There's little droids that are introduced, and, and some of the levels have little enemies roaming around. I think. Um, but uh, not, not sure there's really much more I can show you. Yep. Oh, Fuck that one up, didn't I? So that's bomb bombuzo for you. Um, again, if you've only ever played it on the Mia. Don't, don't let that put you off trying the 6th World version, because the, the, the 6th World version is uh, far superior. E even though the gameplay is almost the same, the, the Amiga version is quite sluggish and jerky, but the 6th World version is f far, more, far more playable and far more enjoyable, I think. Uh. So that, that's Bombozo for you. Um, quite a, quite a Quite a unique uh, puzzle game, and uh, I think it's one of the best puzzle games on the 64, uh, to be honest. Uh, so, yep, uh, I'll give this. Um, well, I think the sound and the graphics are pretty good. I think the gameplay is brilliant. Uh, most of the levels are really well designed. Uh, I'll give this a um, 9 out of 10.